Hello, wonderful fans. Welcome back to Cars Life Backslash Best Car Slash Auto Insight Reviews. Each show is an adventure, and you're always a part of the fun. If you're new, click the subscribe button to become a part of our great group. In spite of the fact that Volkswagen has not made an official announcement regarding the addition of a new Beetle to its roster of electric vehicles, we have heard more than a little, unofficial, buzz about it. As the ID Buzz gets closer to its debut in the United States, we would also be happy to see a Beetle electric vehicle. The ID Beetle would ensure that the much-loved nameplate is maintained, and the excitement that has surrounded the ID Buzz could be a contributing factor in the construction of such a vehicle. It is possible to create a contemporary Beetle using the MEB chassis because of the modularity that is incorporated into its architecture. Although it is entirely theoretical at this moment, we would not be shocked if the new Beetle that is powered by electric propulsion is a rear-drive vehicle. This would be based on the existing MB chassis and its single motor that is positioned in the rear of the vehicle. There is a possibility that we will be able to acquire the first all-wheel drive variant that is not a limited edition like the new Beetle RSI. It is almost inevitable that the ID Beetle will be converted into a four-door vehicle, which is a potentially disastrous development. On the other hand, this would not be the first time that something like that has been done. Simply look up the 18A. It is possible that it would have a lift gate in addition to having a frunk, just like the original Volkswagen Beetle. Year 2026 and the year 2025 or 2026, the Volkswagen ID Beetle is anticipated to go on sale. Immediately following the publication of this story, Volkswagen CEO Thomas Schaefer, in an interview with Autocar, put an end to the widespread speculation that an electric Beetle will be brought back into production. Schaefer responded, I don't think so, because there are certain vehicles that have had their day. This was in response to the question of whether or not Volkswagen would contemplate going back to using the Beetle nameplate. It would be illogical to bring it back into existence. It is not something that I would say with complete conviction. From where I am right now, however, I would not even consider doing that. The comments made by Schaefer were mostly centered on the nameplate, and they were based in this particular moment and time. There is a possibility that Volkswagen will introduce a Beetle-like ID version with a different name if the preferences of consumers and Volkswagen's own mood change. During the past few years, Volkswagen has undergone significant modifications in its product philosophy. According to Schaefer's comments, the likelihood of an ID Beetle appearing in the near future has decreased. Nonetheless, nothing is set in stone.